Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's United Online. We are in a message series called Legendary, where we are talking about heroes of faith and how their story can speak to each and every one of us today. And so we're going to continue looking at the life of Noah. If you missed last week, I encourage you to go back and listen to it, either on our Instagram or on our YouTube page. You can recap what we laid the foundation with. But today, I want to continue on in that same story, looking at Noah's life and pulling out some principles that made him, you guessed it, legend. Dairy. And so today, the title of my message, I don't always have a title, but today I do. The title of my message is The Promise, The Process, and The Problem. Let me say it again. It's The Promise, The Process, and The Problem. And in the life of Noah, when we're looking at the story of the flood, you're going to see all three. And in your life, you are going to see all three. You're going to see the promise of God. You're going to see the process which he takes you through. And then the problem in regards to the whole situation. So we're going to dive into it today. But before we get into scripture, let me just give you one quick thought. Whenever God speaks something, he always takes people through a process. There's always a journey. Let me say it like this. If you wanted to make the basketball team, if you wanted to make the track team, if you wanted to do something, if you wanted to lose five pounds, okay, that would be your goal. But no matter what, there is a process to making that goal become a reality. Say you want to go to college and you want to get a degree. There's a process. You've got to go to school, right? There's always a process whenever growth is, whenever growth is concerned. What happens is during the process, during the journey from point A to point Z, is discouragement sets in and sometimes we give up on the promises of God or on our goals because we're discouraged by the process. But I want to encourage you today that you have to go through the process to get to the promise. Now, this is a biblical principle, but it doesn't just apply to the things of God. This applies to every area of your life. The promise, the process, and then the problem. And so here's what you need to understand about the process is that is where you are going to make or break. The process is either going to make you, it's going to develop you, it's going to build you, it's going to strengthen you, you're going to come out better because of the process, or your character is not going to be strong enough and you're going to give up, and then eventually you're going to have to go back through the process again if you ever want to reach that goal or that promise. And that's why we're going to talk about what's the problem with the process. And we're going to look at Noah's life and we're going to go through it today. So in Genesis chapter 6, verse 13, God is speaking to Noah. He's telling him that what he is about to do, his plans for humanity. In verse 13 it says, God said to Noah, I have decided to destroy all living creatures, for they have filled the earth with violence. I will wipe them out all along with the earth. So build a large boat from cypress wood and waterproof it with tar inside and out. Then construct decks and stalls throughout the interior. What is God telling Noah right now? He's telling him the process. I mean, he's telling him the promise. Here is what I'm going to do. Humanity is corrupt. I am going to send my judgment on the earth and I am going to send a flood. I promise you I'm going to protect you, but you got to do your part. So God is telling Noah the promise right here, right now. Jump down to verse 17 and 18. He said, I'm going to cover the earth with a flood that will destroy every living thing that breathes. Everything on earth will die, but I will confirm my covenant with you. That is the promise. So enter the boat, you, your wife, your sons, and your wife. So the promise is God is going to keep Noah safe during the flood. That is the promise. He's going to send his judgment, but God is going to rescue Noah and his family. So the process is this. That's the promise. Let's look at the process. Genesis chapter 7, 
verses 11 and 12. When Noah was 610 years old, on the 17th day of the second month, all the underground waters erupted. So that's all the wells, um, that's all the springs, and then rain fell in mighty torrents from the sky. And the rain continued to fall for 40 days and 40 nights. So when we think of the story of Noah, and we think about Noah's ark and two by two and how cute it is and everything like that, sometimes we simply think that the process that Noah went through was just a 40-day, 40 40-night 40 thing. Well, we've been in quarantine for longer than that. But let me explain to you. The process to experience God's promise was much, much longer than 40 days and 40 nights. Genesis chapter 8, starting in verse 13, it's, uh, it says, now Noah was 601 years old. On the first day of the new year, ten and a half months after the flood began, the waters had almost, almost dried up from the earth. Noah lifted back the covering of the boat and saw the surface of the ground was drying. Two more months went by, and at last the earth was dry. From the moment Noah went onto the ark to the day he walked off of the ark, it was a one year and ten days. One year. He was in quarantine with every animal and his wife and his sons and their wives and they're crazy, right? For one year and ten days. We think, oh, God gave me this awesome promise. It's going to happen right away. Sometimes there's a process. And for Noah, the promise of God was that I'm going to save you and your family from the judgment that is coming upon the earth because you're a righteous man and obedience brings righteousness. That's last week's talk. If you didn't listen, go check it out. But now Noah is going through the process and it is a long process to experience the promise of God one year and 10 days from the moment he got on the ark to the time God saved him and his family and he got off of the ark. And so I want to encourage you, sometimes the process of God in your life is going to take longer than you think it was supposed to. So that brings us to the problem. What is the problem with the process and the promise? What is, the pro- what is our problem when going through what God has for us? In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17 and 18, Paul is writing to the church and he says, our present, and, our present and small troubles won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. So we don't look at troubles... So, so we don't look at the troubles that we can see now. Rather, we fix our eyes on the things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will be gone, but the things we cannot see will last forever. The problem, are you ready for this? With the process that God is taking you through is that you are looking at the wrong thing. Paul said these momentary and light afflictions are nothing. The way we get through them is we don't look at what we can see. We look at what we We don't look at what we can see. We look at what we can't see. We focus on what God is doing in us instead of what the world is doing to us. Are you with me? The problem with you going through the process and experiencing God's promise in your life, the problem is your perspective. You're not seeing it from God's perspective. You're not seeing it from heaven down. You're seeing it from the, your perspective up. And you're saying, God, why is this happening? And that's why you feel like giving up. And that's why you feel like you can't do it. And that's why you feel like it's never going to happen for you or that goal is never going to be attained in your life. It's because the process is what God takes each and every one of us through to develop godly character so that when we receive his promise, we have the character to, to, to live it out and give glory back to God. But the problem is we have an earthly, carnal, worldly perspective. That's the problem with the promise and the process is we have the wrong perspective. So here's what you need to do. You need to be like Noah. And you need to go through the process to get to the promise by fixing your perspective. 
You've got to see things correctly. And do not give up in when you, when you can see things correctly in the process, you won't give up until you reach the promise. Let me end with one last scripture. Genesis chapter 8, verse 20 and 21 says this. After Noah was off of the ark, it says that Noah built an altar to the Lord and he sacrificed as burnt offerings the animals and birds that have been approved for that purpose. And the Lord was pleased with the aroma of the sacrifice. Noah came off of the boat and made a sacrifice that was pleasing to God. God found Noah because Noah was the only righteous man on the earth at that time. So he went into the process, a righteous man, and he came out of the process, a righteous man, and he sacrificed to God, and it was a pleasing aroma unto God. The worship was a pleasing aroma unto God. So you've got the promise of God for your life. Then you got the process of God that he's going to take you through to experience that promise. And then you've got a problem. And your problem is we've got to fix our perspective as we go through the process to receive God's promise for our lives. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed our message today. And remember to share it with someone and follow us on Instagram.